I have a chicken here and we're gonna be spatchcocking it, which means we're taking out the backbone. And now spatchcocking a chicken is not hard if you have a sharp knife, which I obviously did not have. You're just cutting down both sides of the backbone and removing it. Once you have done that, you're going to nick the breastbone in the middle, like I did right there, and then your chicken should lay down flat. I put it on a cookie sheet with a wire rack. Now let's make our garlic lemon butter. I took about seven or eight cloves of garlic and I took the skins off, of course, and then I chopped them up. I uh, got a bowl and I put a softened stick of butter in it. The butter turned out not being softened enough, so I stuck it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. And then I zested one lemon into the butter. I added a pinch of salt and pepper. And then I added all of my chopped garlic and I added one half of a lemon, the juice of one half of a lemon. Uh, Ricky doesn't like it too lemony, or I would have added the whole lemon. Uh, I stirred that up, and then I took a paper towel and dried off the skin of my chicken. I salt and peppered it on both sides. And then when I was done with that, I started putting the garlic butter under the skin. I started with the breast, then did the thighs and the legs. Um, and then whatever butter was left went on top of the chicken. If you find that you're having trouble getting the butter to stick to the chicken, just kind of pat it dry with a paper towel. All right, this is going to go in the oven for at least an hour and a half, maybe two. This was after cooking the chicken for an hour. You can see it is not browned up yet. I took the drippings out of there, basted the chicken, and went back in for another 45 minutes. I used a thermometer to make sure that it was registering 165 on the inside to know that it was cooked. Um, I defatted my drippings, and I used those to drizzle over the chicken after I was done cutting it. Now you can go and spatchcock your own chicken.